Hi everyone. Welcome to High Love Pharmacology. In this session, let us understand the important difference between metoclopramide and domperidone. So this metoclopramide and domperidone both are the drugs which can stimulate the intestinal motility. So they can also be called as prokinetic agents. So where will we use prokinetic agents? These are useful in gastric paralysis due to diabetes or it can be used in case of anti as an antiemetic agent. And what is this difference that you need to remember between these drugs? Metaclopramide and domperidone both will going to block the D2 receptors. Both are D2 receptor blockers. The very important thing that differentiates metaclopramide is metaclopramide also blocks the D2 receptor which is present in the central nervous system. Whereas domperidone blocks the D2 receptors which are present in the periphery. So domperidone is a peripheral D2 receptor blocker whereas metoclopramide can cross blood brain barrier thereby it leads to blockage of the D2 receptors in the brain as well. But domperidone cannot cross blood brain barrier. So metoclopramide since it is inhibiting the D2 receptors in the brain it can produce extra pyramidal symptoms. That means it can produce Parkinson's symptoms. So metaclopramide will be the one of the drug which can induce Parkinson's disease. So the example for drug induced Parkinsonism is metaclopramide. And in any patients who are having Parkinsonism, if the patient has to get antiemetic agent, you need to avoid prescribing metaclopramide. In place of metaclopramide, you can prescribe domperidone because it does not cross its blood brain barrier and it does not block the D2 receptors in the brain because domperidone, domperidone is a peripheral D2 receptor blocker. Apart from that, uh, one more uh, important point you should remember is one of the antimicrobial agents can also be used as a drugs that can stimulate intestinal motility. So the example is erythromycin which is a macrolide. It is useful in the treatment of diabetic gastroparesis, diabetic gastroparesis. And one more drug which you need to remember is cholinomimetic agent that is anticholinesterase that is neostigmine which is often used in the treatment of colonic pseudo obstruction in hospitalized patient as neostigmine can increase the levels of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine acts on the M3 receptors in the intestinal smooth muscles leading to the contraction and the increased peristalsis of the intestinal movement. Thank you.